Welcome. Everything is fine. I'm John Russell, and today I'm hanging out in TV Insider's Void mm -hmm. with Darcy Carden from The Good Place. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hi, welcome. Thanks, buddy. Um, so your character really got a chance to shine <laughs> this season, and um, you know, I I want to know in that episode where you got to play basically every other character. Right. How did the rest of the cast convince you <laughs> to do their jobs for a whole episode? It, right, right. Yeah, I know it was kind of a, a nice little week off for them, huh? Yeah. But they were they were, as you would expect, like extremely supportive and. Um, Everybody, you know, they were all on call, like as if they were, I don't know, like astronauts or doctors or something. <laughs> they were like, if you need us, we're there. Yeah. Otherwise, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I, I wanted, I, meaning I didn't want them there. Mm -hmm. We had okay. kind of discussed, like with the actors and with the producers and the director, would it be helpful to have them there? And they would do the line and then I would sort of copy mm -hmm. it. And I just was like, that will totally put me in my head. Mm. And trying to do some sort of like weird impression of them, I think it's better to just like, Go with, go with our guts. Yeah, so speaking of doing impressions of them, what, what did you do to figure out, to get the characters down? You know, the thing that helped the most, I think, well, to be honest, I think the thing that helped the most was knowing them and being friends with them for three years. Sure. <laughs> I, like, it, you just kind of have it in you, and you, you know mm. their cadence, and you know the way they talk and walk. But I did have, you know, an extra month or two to, like, really peep and creep and scope mm. them out and, and like watch their every move. Um, so do you think you could do uh, one of the characters for me, maybe one of their lines or mm -hmm. just anything in yeah. character and okay. I'll see if I can guess who it is? Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about David Hume. Okay, uh, is it Pillboy? <laughs> no. Mindy St. Clair. Keep going. Uh, Bamba John. Almost. Uh, Donkey Dog. Donkey That's Dog. it? That's it? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Okay. That was so. Who was it? Cheaty. I, Cheaty. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You know, he's like, yeah. I knew yeah. I'd get there. Yeah. It yeah. was he, the way he's, and it's in my again my little like voice recording. He yeah. said it like so, so cheatyish. Uh -huh. So William Jackson Harper, where it was really like bellowing, like let's talk about David Hume. <laughs> and then every time I did it, they were like, nope, less, less, <laughs> chill uh, out. Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you, what's going on with Jason and Janet and Derek? It seems like there might be a little bit of a love triangle. I think that's a good thought. <laughs> <laughs> Very intuitive. It's such an intuitive thought. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, it's, it's, that's a fun place to go, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like for this, for, for these characters? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Were you happy to see Derek again? I was very happy to see Derek again. We love again. Jason Manzoukas. Mike sure has said, anytime you can use Jason Manzoukas, you use Jason Manzoukas. Yeah. Jason Manzoukas, I think, is like stealth. He is, know, yes. Hunk. Yeah. yeah. Stealth hunk. Yeah. Oh my God, he will be so happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm truly going to text him the second we're done with this and right he on. will be very happy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, in the episode, you describe Derek as, or Janet describes Derek as her son slash rebound <laughs> slash booty call. Uh huh. Um, if you could make one of those of your own, yeah. Well, what would that be? Um, well, okay, I'll, I'll I'll say it like this. <laughs> I have I have weird feelings towards Harry Styles, <laughs> as maybe you can understand. But I think of him as like my best friend slash son slash boyfriend slash baby slash sure. grandchild. Yeah, yeah. So that's so that's where Janet pulls that from. She you know, that's how I connected to that part. Got it. So okay, this is gonna post before the season finale. Okay. Is there anything you can tell us about where things are headed? Yeah. Yeah? No. No. <laughs> the only spoiler is that there is something to spoil. Got it. Ooh, it's good. Ooh, <laughs> it's good. Um, so what is it like working on a show that reboots itself so frequently? It's really exciting. It's, it's, I mean, I imagine, I was about to say it's different. I mean, it's different than anything out there. Yeah. And it's probably different than anything I'll ever do. So I really, mm. like, lean into it and enjoy the pace at which the writers move mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, like I, I respect how much they kind of trust the audience and um, I don't they, they assume that the like audience is as smart as they are and, mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. seemed to have worked out you know mm -hmm, it, we mm -hmm. have a, like a we have a real smart audience that's awesome they're all yeah. cool and smart I'm one of them. I know I'm complimenting <laughs> you duh so you are in two critically acclaimed shows right now The Good Place and HBO's Barry uh, so, how is your awards season going so far? <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun. I've never done an awards season, not really anyway. I, uh, you know, it's, it's, 
I think when you maybe have done like years and years of awards, it's probably mm -hmm. like uh, another one. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like real excited. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. <laughs> you get all glammed up. Yeah. You get to stare at people that you're in love with and sure. have been in love with for years. It is very, it's exciting and silly and surreal and like such an honor. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that I've watched on television mm -hmm. for my whole life. Yeah. And now to like be there, it just feels wild. Mm. Um, okay, so here's the Oprah question. Okay, don't make me cry. No, okay, I hope, well, we'll see. Um, the show has kind of evolved into a comedy about what it means to be a good person. Mm -hmm. Has doing the show made you a better person mm -hmm. and how? I do think it's hard not to mm -hmm. have it like in, infect and mm -hmm. inform both mm -hmm. your sure. life and your sort of beliefs um, because it really is such a like beautiful message even though it's dark and it's um, silly and goofy and you know they talk about like farts a lot there's <laughs> such a like great message and it's about your people and it's about like bettering each other and being the best version of yourself and mm -hmm. yeah that it totally it totally informs your everyday and not to mention it I this is maybe like a side part of this job is that I feel so grateful mm. like I can't even explain I this is like such a dream job for me and it's a job that I like I guess what I just said a job that I've dreamed of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. since I like started acting to be on like a funny ensemble comedy on NBC Thursday nights which is like a weird side part of it but that is truly yeah. like that was always what I wanted to do yeah. Seinfeld and Friends sure. and all Iconic of those yeah, slot, right? yeah. yeah so anyway I, I feel it's like giving me this sort of gratefulness mm. that I would say makes me a better person. Cool. Don't you think that I'm a better person? I think that you're the best person that you have been since you came into this room. <laughs> um, all right. Ditto. Well, oh, thanks. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much. It's been great chatting with you, and um, thank you for coming to our void. Oh, thank you for having me in this beautiful void. <laughs> Be sure to catch the season finale of The Good Place this Thursday, January 24th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on NBC. Bing.